dear students welcome back to online classes by nasir irfan in this video we are going to discuss a very important topic for class 10th english under j and k board of school education and the topic is a very interesting short story bholi written by k abbas k abbas is a well known film director novelist and a journalist in urdu hindi and english languages born in punjab in 1914 k abbas is the maker of many indian films including saath hindustani jagte raho dharti ke lal and many more and for his contribution to arts literature he was awarded padma shri award in 1969 as a prominent journalist he interviewed many renowned many famous personalities like the american president the russian prime minister and yuri gagarin the short story bholi is a very interesting story and the characters inside the story symbolizes the simplicity and innocence but at the end courage is also symbolized as well the most important theme of the story is the importance of the education for girls it also underlines the importance or the way how to deal the handicapped children at school or the children with special needs how to deal with them it shows through proper education through love and encouragement a handicapped child can outdo even even normal children as far as the brief summary of the story is concerned bholi was a mentally retarded and neglected child at home her name was sulekha but because of her being mentally retarded she had been calling by the name of bholi the simpleton bholi was the fourth daughter of her father ramlal the number dar actually at the age of 10 months bholi had fallen off from the cart char pai se bholi gir gayi thi and had damaged some part of her brain she had remained a backward and neglected child because of uh, this damage to her brain though at birth she was a pretty fair and beautiful child but at the age of 2 years she had an attack of smallpox which disfigured her whole body by black pock marks smallpox is actually a skin disease in addition to this she stammered badly she could not speak fluently which adds to her miseries she had three brothers and sons alongside her and bholi was the youngest of them all all brothers and sisters except bholi were healthy and strong when bholi was 7 years old a primary school was opened in the village the tahsildar came and inaugurated the school and told ramlal to set an example for others so that the other girls from the village could join the school ramlal had not the courage to disobey the tahsildar so he discussed the matter with his wife and dis- and decided to send bholi to school bholi did not know what a school is so when her father cut her hand to take her to school she remembered that a few days ago their old cow was turned out of, of the home and sold the same way so she protested strongly she was not willing to go to school she thought that she was being sold to someone else as already said bholi was a neglected child at home nobody cared about her but this time around when she was about to go to school or in fact being taken to school she was given a new dress in fact a clean dress of her sister 
For the first time, she was bathed and and her matted hair were oiled. Matted means उसके बाल जिनमें मिट्टी लगी हुई थी कई दिन से नहाया नहीं था सर नहीं धोया था आज पहली बार उसके सर में उसके बालों में तेल लगाया गया कंगी करी गई इनिशियली एट स्कूल भोली वॉज कन्फ्यूज बट फाइनली लेटर ऑन शी वॉज हैप्पी टू सी मैनी गर्ल्स ऑफ हर एज इन स्कूल एंड शी थॉट शी होप दैट वन ऑफ दैम माइट बिकम हर फ्रेंड इन द स्कूल ऑन द वॉल्स भोली नोटिस्ड मैनी पिक्चर्स ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड शी प्रसिव दीज आर द एनिमल्स शी हैड सीन एट होम इन हर नेबरहुड भोली इन फैक्ट हैड नेवर सीन आर नोटिस्ड समथिंग अबाउट लव समथिंग अबाउट केयर She was absolutely neglected at home. So, when once Bholi noticed that the teacher was smiling at her, standing by her side, she seemed to be very happy. Bholi wanted to talk to her teacher, but she could only stammer because she was not a good speaker. She could not speak fluently, but. It was enough for Bholi to realize that the teacher was so good, so soft that none at home had been so kind to her ever. Then the teacher started talking to her, talking to Bholi on routine basis, on daily basis, and the day came when Bholi was able to speak fluently. A new book was given to Bholi by the teacher. which was having pictures painted on it bholi was very happy to see at the pictures this book arose a new hope in bholi's heart she wanted to go to school daily to see her loving teacher and in this way many years passed the village was now a small city the primary schools was a high school now and bholi was now a grown up and educated girl In the meanwhile in the meantime Bholi's parents accepted a marriage proposal for Bholi from an elderly man of 50 years named Bishambar who already had a wife and grown up sons the only reason for accepting this marriage proposal was that Bholi and her parents were not that rich and that Bishambar was willing to marry Bholi without having any demand of dowry or money but he had not seen ugly pock marks on bholi's face so at the wedding when he saw bholi's face with pock marks he laid a condition that he would marry only if a dowry of rupees 5000 was given to him he even insulted bholi's father ramlal who somehow managed rupees 5000 and offered to bishambar when bishambar offered a smile of victory and was ready to marry bholi had decided not to marry such a mean and greedy person she threw away the marriage garland the veil and announced her decision in a loud clear voice without a slight stammer in clear loud voice that she was not going to marry this person she was now speaking fluently she took the 5000 rupees and returned to her father ramlal she turned violent towards the ladies who were talking about being her bholi bishambar returned back with his marriage with his friends but bholi was there to console to her father saying that she would teach in the same school where she studied and will look after her parents in their old age this is the complete story when we come to the character of bholi we finally came to know that bholi bholi is a girl whose real whose actual name was sulekha but she was being called as bholi because of her simplicity because of her being not able to speak fluently she was mentally backward child she stammers badly and could not speak fluently 
Due to the attack of smallpox, she had pock marks on her body, on her whole body, on her face especially. She was a neglected child at home. Nobody cared about her. It was only the teacher who gave her love, affection and care and filled her heart with hope. The teacher was there to change Bholi into a masterpiece of courage and confidence. Her life highlights the masterpiece of girl education. It was the teacher who filled her heart with courage and confidence. Bholi gave Bishambar a befitting reply. Now she was no longer a girl who lacked sense, who lacked common sense. She was wise, confident, courageous and self-respecting. That is why at the end of the story, she is referred to by her real name, Solekha, not Bholi, the simpleton. You will realize, you will notice it while reading the text from the textbook that at the end of the story, her real name has been mentioned as Solekha. अगर आपको हमारा ये वीडियो पसंद आया है तो इसे लाइक और शेयर जरूर कीजिए और हाँ हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब और फॉलो करना मत भूलिएगा